here for D2 Fall Festival. This is the Elite, elite Eight of women's volleyball. Uh, we're here with Southern New Hampshire head coach Dega Degama and his players Ana Pimenta and Claire Waldler. Uh, so coach, if you want to just get us started, talk about uh, just the journey of this season and kind of how you guys got here. Okay, so first of all, I think this journey started last spring when we have most of the players, if not all the players, in our school. So we knew, at least I knew, they, they, they thought they didn't, we couldn't make it. So for me, it's a privilege to be here. And it's funny, I'm from Brazil you now. When I moved from Brazil to America, I moved here to Seattle. So for me, then it's more special to come back after almost 10 years. You know? So how, tell us, how, how special is this experience to be able to bring this group uh, back to, to where you first moved here? So for our volleyball program, it's the first time we are playing Elite Eight, even for regional. So, uh, so for us, it, it is amazing. We knew we could do really, really well because we have a group of really talented players. And not just talent, they, they work really, really hard not just on court but academically so when i got this um, job the first uh, players they start commit academically first so we have really really good gpa i thought we we're gonna win yesterday <laughs> <laughs> we we're close but our gpa is almost 3.8 as a team so just show how much they work hard inside and outside and you know, at the end, we just try to sell the idea. So they bought it, and they work really hard. So they deserve to be here now. Excellent. Claire, tell me about, uh, just at what point, season is very long, but at what point did you, was there a match? Was it in the regional, or was it maybe some point during the year? Where did you start to think that maybe, you know, getting to the regionals, getting to the Elite Eight, you know, making a postseason run like this was a possibility for this particular group. Um, I mean, well, we were all actually, most of the team was together in this last spring season, too. So we went over and we played Dartmouth and we played UNH and D1 teams, and we did pretty well against them. And then I'd say the very first regular season game against Bentley, when we went to five sets and the preseason we were ranked seventh going into it. They were ranked, I think, like third, top three at least, something like that. So I think after that game, we were like, we were so close, like we got this, we're in this. And then from there, we played New Haven and all the other teams. And we just kept going, building off of that. And staying together as a group was really important too. And what is, uh, what is the buildup been like, the anticipation of kind of this event from, from a couple weeks ago when you finished up regionals? What, what have you been most looking forward to about this experience? I mean, I've just been looking forward to going out and playing again with my teammates and just having fun with it because we do a lot better when we're having fun, just like a lot of other teams do. So I guess really just playing with them and being able to play in Seattle across the country from our school and playing, I guess, on this new court, NCAA, like huge on TV, top eight too, which is crazy, but still taking it all in, but for sure. Um, and tell me, what, what is special about your team? What is the, the X factor that people might not know about your team? I think the, the thing that is like the craziest is our confidence that we build during the whole season. Um, we have been practicing so much and we've been putting so many hours and so much hard work in our team. And as um, Dega said, we just bought the idea. You know, um, we were ranked seventh in the conference, and we were like, there's no way. Like, our team is way better than this. We can definitely be way better than this. And we won regionals, and we're here. And as Claire said, I'm still trying to soak this in because this was never an experience that I thought I would be living, to be honest. And how much motivation did, did that give you throughout the year, kind of those, um, just kind of that you know, seventh place, kind of the expectations? I feel like it was just proving people wrong. Um, I think that was a, a huge mentality that we had because we knew how good we were and we knew that we needed to prove to other people how good we were and the, the process was really long to build that confidence because it does take a lot to come from 7th to win regionals so I feel like 
whenever we got the confidence up and then we started proving people wrong, it was just, we just started like following through and here we are. <laughs> And then, Coach, how would you describe what, what are the intangibles that this team has that allows them to be successful regardless of kind of what, are, and what anybody else thinks, but just being able to, to go out on the volleyball court and get to this point? Uh, for sure, we, we have a lot of talent in the team. We have some players, they are really experienced. They have been playing for a while, a little bit older than other players. I think these make a huge difference. But the commitment with work hard daily it is one of the things the most important. And another thing, uh, Southern New Hampshire provided to us a lot of resource. That's really, really helpful. So not no just the as aspect on the court, but outside we have a, a person who helped us in the mentally aspect and was huge for us. Mm -hmm. Some games we won this season, the one season before, we could have lost really f mm -hmm. fast. So I think this person was super helpful for us. And also create the, what they say about family. It's super crazy, I'm going to tell you, during our spring break, <laughs> we had 12 <laughs> players, they traveled together even during the spring break. <laughs> that wow. means a lot, you know, they love to be together. Yeah. You know, it's really easy, okay, spring break, give me a break, you know, I want to go to the other side. But for me, it just show how much they like to be together. And at the end of the day, this is the most important. You know, when you play team sports, that's the best experience, that's the best friends you're gonna have forever. You know? That's in my opinion. Definitely. One last thing for you, Coach. Uh, the matchup tomorrow with uh, Concordia St. Paul. Uh, what what type of match are you expecting, and what are the the key areas that you're looking to to have success in tomorrow? Yeah, first is a privilege for us, you know, to play with, if not the best, the number one right now is the best, but a program who won so many times the national title. So pr for us, gonna gonna be a privilege, you no. Know? And we're going to try to explore a few things we believe are going to be helpful for us, but it's just ideas. Now, the most important from our side, you have to play the same way we play against a team in our conference or our region. Now, if we have so many thoughts about who is the other side, that's going to be really, really hard. Now, and we know it's going to be a really hard game, but we expect we're going to play well, and then let's see what's happened. No? But we are here to compete, we are here to try to do our best. At the end of the game, if we did our best, if we left on the court everything we could, that's going to be perfect for us. Very good. Any other questions? All right. Well, good luck tomorrow. I'm looking forward to watching you guys play. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you.